Your time now is 1140 in about 24 hours and 15 ish minutes. We will be able to see the annular eclipse here in North Texas. Now it's not going to be completely full. What annular means is that the uh, moon will actually cover up the sun, but not all the way. The moon is going to be too far from the earth to fully cover the sun. So we'll notice still a ring around it. If you're in the path of totality, North Texas is not. But if you are, say, in San Antonio, you will be in the path of totality. Uh, North Texas closer to about 81%. Now this starts at 1023, but maximum eclipse for us happens around 1152 to 1154 and then the partial eclipse will end at 129. We'll notice that the light looks a little dimmer. It's going to look like twilight and it'll just be a spectacular event. I hope you can catch it. Meanwhile, we're looking at Love Field right now. 75 degrees blue sky overhead. A lot of that cloud cover has cleared. No delays at the moment. DFW not reporting any delays either temperature of 75 degrees and it actually feels like it with a strong north wind northwest at about 22 miles per hour. Our air is drying out like we mentioned at the top of the half hour and we'll continue to see that dry air filter in across the rest of the region. The breezy winds that's what's keeping some of our pollen count high, especially when it comes to mountain cedar. At the moment, it is at a high count. And it'll likely stay elevated throughout the rest of the weekend. So if you're sensitive, just keep that in mind. Uh, we usually don't see mountain cedar, by the way, until December. We're seeing it pretty early in the season. Temperature only makes it to about 82 degrees in Fort Worth, 81 in Dallas, mid to upper 70s for our northwestern counties and into the mid 80s for our southeastern counties where the front is going to take a little bit longer to get there. But by tonight, those temperatures will dip into the mid 50s with afternoon highs in the 70s. Here's that system big system that is causing some issues currently across the plains into the uh, Midwest. That's where we are seeing uh, the heavy rain, high wind alerts behind that with even some freeze warnings across portions of eastern Colorado, New Mexico, a small portion of uh, the Oklahoma panhandle. We are going to experience much more uh, mild impacts uh, when compared to that. In fact, our temperatures are slowly dropping, but the more drastic cool air is going to stay out of the state. Temperatures are already in the mid 50s for Amarillo, 58 in Lubbock. We'll continue to see that drier air push again. Tonight, we'll notice that the cloud cover continues to clear, especially if you're east of the Metroplex. We will see those temperatures drop into the low 70s right around the time a lot of Friday night lights are starting. It's also going to be breezy, so that may impact some of your play. Just dealt, making sure you are, you're well aware. Temperatures will drop into the mid 50s tonight, so definitely want to make sure you bundle up in the mornings the next couple of days. In fact, go ahead and uh, Hold that true for the rest of next week. Also, a few mornings could dip into the upper 40s with highs in the 70s. Our next best chance for rain Thursday, Friday of next week, Megan.